What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we have Brock Lesnar, Furious, Ronda Rousey, Bitter, and Goldberg re-signing with the du I hope that last part is not true. For all that is holy in this world, please, I hope that is not true. It's going to be a good one, though. We're going to see what WrestleMania has brought us today with uh, the latest news. And uh, we're going to get right into this. Appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 70K. Please don't let that last one be true. What is going on, guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including WWE re-signing Goldberg, Roman Reigns' next opponent, Ronda Rousey was bitter coming back, Brock Lesnar furious with Shane McMahon, mm. or Jeff Hardy in AEW rumors, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and right, hit that notification bell for one. daily wrestling videos, and follow us on subscribe Facebook for exclusive lists. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at WWE re-signing Goldberg. A top of today's news is a wild rumor Please, concerning no. WWE Hall of no. Famer Bill Goldberg, who returned at the 4th February SmackDown to challenge Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship at the Elimination Chamber show in Saudi Arabia, who is now believed to have one match left on his contract. Yes. However, Dave Meltzer thinks the WWE could sign Big Bad Bill to a new deal, primarily to please the company's patrons in Saudi Arabia. Speaking on the Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer speculated, I've not heard him re-signing, I would expect that they would re-sign him. They're not going to put the title on him unless he re-signs, I'm sure of that. I could see the argument because of being so high not to re-sign him, but I just sense that they probably will. One, to keep him away from the opposition, and the other because they can afford it to do it again, like the Saudis. There's not too many guys from that era left. And Meltzer's musings that the WWE might put the <sighs> Universal Championship on Goldberg is chilling as fans. No. No. I don't give a damn what they want over there in Saudi. No, just no, no. I'm looking right. I'm looking right at the camera. I'm looking at you, Vince. No, just no, no, no. And still remember Goldberg's win over the Fiend at 2020 Super Showdown, no. a win which snapped the Fiend's undefeated record and puzzled fans who had hoped to see the Fiend battle Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 36. Might the WWE put the belt on Dollar Bill? As unthinkable as it may seem, Meltzer believes the Saudi Arabian government's wish to see nostalgic acts could have a major effect on Goldberg's future. And Bill is one of the last ones. Undertaker's done, Shawn Michaels isn't going to wrestle again. Paul Levesque, I can't imagine Paul Levesque would wrestle again. Do you think the WWE will bring Goldberg back for another run and will it include a title win over Reigns? Goldberg's performance at 2021's Crown Jewel showed he can still work, but should the WWE press its luck by signing the 55-year-old grappler? Should Goldberg re-sign though? Let us know in the comments down no. below. Next up, WWE preparing for Roman's next opponent. Ugh, better news. It looks like the WWE is planning ahead Ugh. when it comes to Universal Champion Roman Reigns' next opponent. Fans know that the head of the table is fighting Goldberg at the Elimination Chamber, and it appears that Reigns will clash with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, but that's just the beginning, at least according to Dave Meltzer, who reported in last week's Observer that Drew McIntyre is very much in the plans for an opponent for Reigns at some point. Before his injury, there was talk of Reigns vs McIntyre as Reigns' program is in the early part of the year in getting to Lesnar, and now he's back, perhaps that's in Saudi Arabia, although it would be better served for later in the year. It wouldn't surprise us to see the WWE save Roman vs Drew for a high profile event like SummerSlam, yeah. even if Reigns loses to Goldberg, it's likely the Universal Championship will be around Roman's waist again. Don't Reigns say that. continues to be booked as a wrestling juggernaut, with fans wondering if anyone is capable of defeating him. Do you think Drew McIntyre could be the wrestler to finally defeat the Tribal Chief, nope. or will he become Reigns' latest so. sacrificial lamb? Next up, <clears throat> Ronda Rousey was bitter coming back. It looks like recently returned WWE superstar Ronda Rousey had a rough start on Raw following a return at the 2022 Royal Rumble. Meltzer spoke on the recent Wrestling Observer Radio that the WWE officials had to speak with her after Raw. I believe that people were talking to her about Monday. She acknowledged the fans. She was very, very bitter coming back. And I think it was not a good attitude to have, especially since she's portrayed as a babyface. People, when they saw her go, oh my god, she's being a heel, and it's like, no, that's just Ronda. And then they had to talk her out of basically going, these people are cheering you. You have to acknowledge them. You don't mean mug them. Yeah, I kind of noticed in that promo, she just came off just 
not really concerned and like didn't really care to be there. You can just tell by the energy in that promo. And it's just one of those things where it's like, well, I'm sure they're paying you handsomely to be here. So if you're going to be bitter or don't want to be there, then don't come back. When they ask, hey, you want to come back? Just tell them no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying it just kind of feeds into the common scene said on Twitter before about the fans, about the industry. So for you to do that, it's like, what's the point of coming back if you're going to be bitter about it? You, you, She got plenty of money, so there's no point in doing that. And then on SmackDown, she high-fiving and going all crazy. So you can tell her energy was different on SmackDown than it was last Monday night. So that's all my, that's, that's my only thing. You know what you're getting signed up for. Don't come back if you don't feel like being there. That's that's all I'm saying. Now, you may recall that fans turned on Rousey in 2018 yeah, after did. she began working against Becky Lynch, who was cheered by fans despite being booked as a heel. Rousey was subsequently turned heel, with Rousey turning on the fans in her feud with Lynch. However, the fans' negative reaction to Rousey seemed to affect her personally as she blasted the fans and wrestling long after yep. exiting in 2019. Meltzer's story seems to suggest these feelings may still be present. I know people who talk to her about certain things. It was explained that you have to let that go. The fans turning on her, because if you're going to be bitter about that, you're not going to be a very good baby face. Yeah, bro, like, I thought she watched wrestling. Grew up watching wrestling. Like, you're running with the, the, the Roddy Piper type vibe. Like, you should know that. That's Fans do that. Fans are fickle. This is very true. So at the end of the day, it's like, why get mad because someone feels like, you know what I'm saying, they don't want to cheer for you anymore. I mean, it is what it is. That's part of wrestling. So I don't I don't know. She got to have to get over that shit. She's going to have to. If they're booking her as a face, she got to get over that shit. Do you think Rousey's angry with the fans or is she just acting like a badass? Let us know in the comments down below. You can act like a, you can be a badass and, and still be endearing to the fans. You don't have to be, a, you know, a total asshole about it. Hello. Next up, Brock Lesnar furious with Shane McMahon. Interested to see what Reports this is about. continued to come in that Brock Lesnar was none too pleased with Shane McMahon's plans for the Rumble. Plans which we already reported could have seen Shane at the number one spot and establish himself as a Royal Rumble Iron Man. Including ones from Fightful Select and The Observer, Lesnar was irate with Shane's backstage behavior or his insistence on things going his way. Fortunately for Shane, Lesnar was too professional to take his frustrations out on him during the Rumble match, but one had to wonder what might have happened if Shane had pushed Lesnar too far. Hmm. Next up, watch Jeff Hardy in AEW. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, Shane would have got destroyed. I don't know what power trip he was on for the Royal Rumble, but it was not good at all. Rumors? AEW President Tony Khan's recent remark that a top star will walk through wrestling's forbidden door on 9th March edition of Dynamite has led to all sorts of speculation, but a recent tweet has people thinking it could be Jeff, despite Brother Nero reportedly being under a no-compete clause until March. Yeah. Isaiah Cassidy, a member of Matt Hardy's faction, the Hardy family office, tweeted about the potential AEW debut. And hey man, this better not be who I think it is. You're gonna force me to put this dude out for good. By the way, I called you four times, Matt Hardy. I gotta get ready for this ladder match. Now Cassidy will face the newly debuting star in a qualifier match to appear at Revolution's face of the Revolution ladder match. But some fans and wrestling pundits believe Hardy's non-compete clause may not apply. Now it's worth noting that short of a no-release clause, Jeff could be released for the WWE without cause. A number of names have come up in the list for possible hmm. debuts, names discussed by Dave Meltzer. They announced a big debut on Wednesday, so I'd say that the favorite would be Keith Lee. Could be Athena, John Hennigan is another one. One of the people whose 90-day non-competes ended, those were the three that I thought were most viable to sign with AEW. I know they've been talking to Keith Lee. I know they were pretty close with Keith Lee. If it's not already a done deal, mm. it probably is a done deal. I don't know that officially, but that's kind of been the word going around. Our fans will know in 48 hours who AEW's latest star is, which will only fuel discussion over AEW's roster being packed with former WWE superstars. Next up, Super... I'm not gonna lie to you. I would be happy if it's Keith Lee. Uh, it's just it all comes down to booking. They have a lot of talent. The AEW is stacked, but I just I trust them better with characters. It just depends on how much these talents are gonna be showcased. So it's it's possible. It can be done. They just have to book it correctly. But I hey, 
If I can see Keith Lee and Karrion Cross in AEW, I'm good. I'm I'm good. Superstars being upset with Biggie's booking. A former WWE champion Biggie's singles push appears to be over as he was recently moved from Raw to SmackDown, yep. where he's rejoined with New Day brothers Sir Kofi Kingston and King Woods in tag team action. However, the move apparently hasn't gone over well with superstars who feel Biggie wasn't given a chance. Yeah. PW Torch's Wade Keller is reporting, I've asked around and I've all I've gotten is people who are really upset with the rug being pulled out from under him, and I haven't heard anything about there being an awareness of any issue with him, and I think the people I've asked would know. The WWE's booking of Biggie as a singles competitor was initially praised as the New Day strongman slowly rose to the ranks, mm -hmm. capturing the IC Championship and winning the 2021 Money in the Bank ladder match. Things looked well after Biggie cashed in his briefcase, defeating Lashley for the championship. However, Biggie's subsequent title run was hit and miss, and Biggie's clean loss to Brock Lesnar at yeah. day one had some fans crying a foul as he held the belt for just less than four months. Keller went on to say, Biggie doesn't seem like the type of person who would do anything that anyone else would see as a problem, but you know, I could imagine him not knowing his place, according to some management, and maybe they feel that now that they're going to teach him a lesson because he dared to push back against something he didn't like that he was being asked to do. But I haven't heard of anything concrete as far as Damn. that goes. The Keller speculation is nothing new to anyone familiar with the WWE as Vince McMahon is known for snap decisions as well as his habit of giving wrestlers a push only to take it away to see how they react. Yep. Fans also know that day one was thrown into chaos when Roman Reigns tested positive for COVID leading to Lesnar entering the WWE Championship match. Apparently one wrestler who doesn't understand how wrestling works as Keller reported, one person just described him as a magnificent human being who doesn't deserve this treatment. While Biggie is considered a class act, this has little to do with our wrestlers booked, especially as a company's champion. If the WWE's live event sales were down with Biggie as champion, the company wouldn't hesitate to put the belt on someone else, yeah. regardless of Biggie's decency. Yeah. And finally, Paige's terrific track. And this is this is one of those type of things where it, it all depends on viewership, how, you know, house sales, you know, what what monetized like monetizable things are happening are they going in an upward trend because he's a champion or are they going in a downward trend and i want to say this i don't, I don't want to give all the blame to big e here because it falls on wwe to make sure they put him in creative fuse and creative segments and him losing the way he did lets you know how much they really cared about him and be honest with you brock lesnar pinned him no one else you saw what happened with him versus Roman Reigns. I believe that was a Survivor Series. You saw how that went. Roman Reigns pretty much dominated him. So it's just one of those things where it's like, I wanted more for Big E. They did kind of do him dirty and on the on his way to losing the title. And it just kind of sucks for him. Now he's back in mid-car purgatory with his good old buddy, Kofi Kingston. And we remember how fat... This bro, Brock Lesnar is the New Day's kryptonite, bro. That I, that's I, it's confirmed. Brock Lesnar is the New Day's kryptonite. Because once you lose to Brock, you forget about ever going back to the main event. Oh my god! Transformation. And last but not least, WWE superstar Paige has a new look, and it has fans talking hmm. after the former Divas champion tweeted pictures of a marvelous makeover. Paige's new look is so radical that you might not recognize her at first. However, Paige's new look isn't the only thing about her garnering attention. Wrestling News' Paul Davis commented, 2022 should be an interesting year for her because her WWE contract expires in a few months. And if she doesn't return to the ring for WWE, then you can expect the other wrestling promotions, perhaps AEW or Impact Wrestling, will want to inquire to see if she would be interested in working for them. What do you guys think is next for Paige yeah, and what do you think about her new look? she completely different. You can tell... You see, got some things done to her. She don't look bad. She just definitely looks completely different, man. So, but comment down below. Let me know how much do y'all disagree <laughs> with Goldberg potentially getting a contract extension? I just want to know. Now, I'm sure there's going to be some of you guys. Oh, yeah, we love Goldberg. Yeah, give him an extension. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people that don't want to see Goldberg longer than we have to how much of a bad decision that is I'm, I'm just being just let's just be honest here that is a bad decision it's a good decision for them financially but it's a bad decision for us watching our favorite talent go against this guy and the thought of them losing is no no 
to me, I'm I'm gonna rate that on a on a scale of one to ten as a ten being the highest, the worst possible, the the, the worst possible decision you can do. I'm gonna give that a thousand, a thousand out of ten as being the worst possible option, and it's not a good idea. Don't do it, Vince. Let's put this in the put this as a hashtag in the comment section. Hashtag don't do it, Vince. Please. <laughs> don't do it, Vince. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he did it. We appreciate all the love and support. Roll to <laughs> 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all in the next one. Peace. Don't do it, Vince. I'm serious.